Hi, Gemini. This is your love reading for June 2021. So let's just jump in and see what your love advice is for this upcoming month. Okay, so out first here we have the moon for you, Gemini. So there is something that is hidden. At the time I'm making this video, um, it is the 25th. So we are coming up on a super moon, uh, lunar eclipse. So that could be bringing in some changes for you, definitely. And that might have something to do with this moon energy. If you're watching this after the 26th, which is when that... Um, super moon eclipse takes place then this could just purely have to do with with something that's hidden at this time or something that's kind of a mystery so we do have the sign of cancer and pisces here in the background so you might be connected with one of those signs or have that in your chart so let's see what else you need to know please clarify the moon for gemini So we have the Two of Swords here, and so it seems like in conjunction with the Cancer and Pisces sign here that you are making a choice between two people, or, you know, if this is vice versa, just take it how it resonates. This could be that someone is choosing between you and another person. So anyway, I think this, though, is probably your energy since you are not a Cancer or Pisces, at least not your sun sign. So anyway, trying to make a decision between two different people with the Two of Swords here. Uh, the rain could be significant. Also, there is this little squirrel in the tree here, too. So that could be some kind of like uh, synchronicity sign that you might see that helps you in your real life. And the moon is also here in this Two of Swords card as well. Okay, so it seems like Gemini is making a decision between two people. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse here to clarify that. Again, there are two people here depicted. Then we have the Strength card in reverse. So there is a Leo here now on the board, but that is in reverse. It might just be that it seems hard to make this decision is what I'm getting. With the Ace of Swords being in reverse, it's like you don't have a uh, clear-cut answer on which would be best for you. So without having that, you know, it's hard for you to move forward with one choice, which makes sense with that moon energy as, uh, as well. You know, something is hidden. Like maybe you're just waiting for something to be shown that would help you to make the best decision for yourself on who you want to be with. So we have the King of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. So there's uh, fire energy here as well as some more energy, some more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So uh, and Leo again, Leo uh, in the reverse coming up here again. So this could be somebody that you were with in the past. Maybe that person's energy is still there. Oh, and look who else is here in this card. So, I mean, Knight of Wands is, is usually fire energy, but we also have this Cancer in the background. So there might be a Leo in your energy who's really trying to get your attention and it's kind of distracting you away from the good decision, which might be the Cancer, it might not. So anyway, Knight of Wands, that's some really impulsive and passionate energy. And then with the King of Swords here, you know, that can be someone who is stoic and unemotional. So with these both being in the reverse, I mean, stoic and emotional still goes for the King of Swords. But as far as the Knight of Wands being in reverse, it may be that there's just not a lot of passion between you and one of these people. Or like I said, this definitely could be a past person as well. So then we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So now we have a uh, Earth sign out here, a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. This also could be that, again, that whoever this person is with the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords is just not being very successful with getting your attention. 
I'm thinking that it might be this Cancer, and this Cancer perhaps could have also Leo in their chart. With the Knight of Pentacles in reverse too, that card really reminds me of somebody who's like trying to get someone's attention with their like looks. So maybe this person, you don't find them like too attractive at this point, or maybe they're just not like real flashy. So we have Justice in the upright, the Ten of Swords in the reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So someone here is getting justice in a situation. Maybe something was a little bit unfair or the justice just could be that, that you figure out who this person is. That's the best for you. But we do have the 10 of swords out here, which is some betrayal, but it's in the reverse. So if you've experienced any betrayal or heartbreak in the past, you know, that time has ended. The wheel has turned on that. You may have felt like the wheel didn't turn in your favor. But you're coming back with a really passionate energy here with the Queen of Wands. You're like, I'm getting over that. I'm getting over whatever happened in the past. And I'm putting on my new happy suit here. And you have some little animal friends that are helping you. Um, some interesting animals have come up for you in this reading that aren't just like present in all of the cards, such as this black cat, the squirrel. Um, Anubis is also in the background of this um, of this wheel of fortune card, as well as um, some seagulls. So you might be seeing like some synchronicities that are reminding you maybe of a past situation. And maybe sometimes that makes it a little hard to, you know, fully like let go or at least stop thinking about it. Um, but however, it does look like you're in a really great energy now at the time of watching this video and like you're just ready to get out there and have a passionate new beginning. So there's some more of this past energy coming in. So this betrayal could have had to do with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Uh, some of you could have been married in the past and ha are now divorced with the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups reversed. Uh, that could have been something that took place last year. We also have the Hermit in the upright and the Nine of Wands in the upright. So the Hermit here, you know, you took some time to go within. You have learned about, I'm, I'm getting like a ton of stuff about like synchronicities. You've just done like a lot of inner work to really examine what all of these events meant in your life. There is some more imagery here of magic with that um, pentagram there and maybe during this time you learned a lot about astrology as well and like who could be compatible with your sign maybe that's something you're looking into so you can find the right match for you this time around we have the six of cups in reverse and the five of cups in the upright so this six of cups does have a scorpio sign in it so that could have been your past person could have had scorpio in their chart more squirrels here again and uh more more birds more uh seagulls so so this time has passed but i think you've planted some seeds by being kind to nature during that time that you were doing things to like get over any heartbreak that you've experienced perhaps that's paying you back in some ways now in your new journey here then we have the Devil in the Upright and the Page of Swords in Reverse. So this could be that past person um, coming back to try to in entice you back at some point. They may, with the Page of Swords in Reverse here, be trying to make it seem like the past wasn't that bad or painting it in a different light, you could say, especially with that imagery on the card. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse and the Page of Wands in the upright. So yeah, this thing that they might be painting in a different light could have to do with something that took place again last year, maybe around the holidays. Uh, Thanksgiving is pictured here. So maybe something really went down uh, while you guys were with your families or visiting for the holidays. And that may have been where everything kind of started to break down. So that person might come back around and say, just trying just trying to make it seem different than what it really was. So then we have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Page of Wands in the upright. So again, there is a lot of like kind of marriage-y type imagery going on here. I mean, not exactly, but it definitely was a 
committed relationship that you were in with this person. These people look very much like a couple in the Ace of Cups here. So I just think that that means that it's not it's not a great great offer when this person comes back. I mean, you're on to bigger and better things, Gemini. So so yeah, this person being like, they might be looking at pictures of you or being like, hey, I just came across this picture. I wanted to send it to you. Like, remember those good times we had? And you're like, yeah, no. And it's kind of like a peace offering from this person. But I think you're you're like, that's, that's over for me. I'm in this page of wands energy here. You know, I'm, I am looking at traveling, I think, and you're just learning a lot about a lot of new things. I think you're learning a lot of new things like, uh, spiritually or like with esoteric stuff, just kind of like becoming a new person right now. So I think you're going to say, yeah, no thanks to, to that person when they come back around from your past. So in the end of Gemini's reading, what do they need to know? the Hierophant in reverse. So beware, you know, as you're getting into these new kinds of spiritual practices and, um, like I said, esoteric stuff, just, just beware of who you're watching, who you're talking to, um, any kind of like spiritual leader since the Hierophant is in reverse. Um, it also could symbolize like a bad information or something that's not quite true. And then we have the Two of Cups in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. So, yeah, not trusting your intuition about an offer, maybe from somebody that you met in a spiritual setting, uh, could be a Pisces here. And the High Priestess also is watery energy, so uh, could, again, be a, a Pisces. So this is you not recognizing that you have the intuition and power um, that the Hierophant also does, but just thinking that you need that in another person. But also mainly it's like, you know, beware um, to trust your intuition about this new person that's coming in who is offering you a new beginning with the fool here. So this could still be about this past person. I think it might be someone new that you're meeting in, in like a spiritually inclined way though. So we have the page of cups in the upright and the four of swords in the upright. Uh, more fish here, more Pisces, like going out, having fun. Maybe this person invites you somewhere and invites you to like a commune perhaps. Um, and then we have Libra here as well. Yeah, this totally looks like, I mean, obviously this is going to, um, somewhere in South America, what's actually depicted, but just with the four of swords symbolizing kind of like a home environment and you're obviously traveling there. Um, this seems like maybe some kind of spiritual, like commune or community that you're being invited to, uh, perhaps far away from where you live. So this is kind of like taking a, a different and interesting turn here. So I think that this Hierophant, whoever that is in your life, is going to is gonna ask you like, yeah, why don't you come, come stay here or travel with me to this spiritual place? And we have the Ace of Wands. So it looks like you might take it. Uh, you know, you think that this is your passionate new start. Uh, you are pictured here single in this card, though. I'm not saying that you will be single. It's just that I think Spirit here is telling you that, you know, if you accept this offer to possibly travel a long distance or um, get engaged with going to to some spiritual community to just remember that right now you've made a commitment to yourself to focus on yourself to learn new things to advance yourself in an independent way and if love comes along on the way I am sure that you would love that uh, but just I think this is a reminder that of of a yeah, of a contract or a commitment that you've made with yourself to experience new things and to just be cautious, you know, that some other people that you might be meeting may try to kind of like sway that to something else, like I said, to love. Okay, final thoughts on this, please. And that's your nine of pentacles when you really focus on yourself, focus on this newfound connection to nature that it seems that you've had. Perhaps you've always been 
oriented with nature and have received signs that way. But um, there really are some animals coming to your aid. As you can see, there's a hawk here as well as a little snail. So it might feel like things are happening slowly for you, but they're really not. At the time of this like travel offer, it actually seems that you're at your nine of pentacles, which would indicate that your ten of pentacles is close by. So that's what I have for you, Gemini, for June for your love reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Like, subscribe, comment, share. I'd love to hear from you in the comments and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.